Hello friends, so let's welcome to all of you. So today we will start uh, our EDA questions and answers. So, so first of all, if you are giving the interview, then most important question, what is EDA? You need to be aware about this. So EDA is electronic data interchange. Uh, it's exchange of business documents such as a purchase order and invoice between business partner in a common format directly from one computer to another. Second question is who typically uses EDA? Okay, in our like industries where the EDA is used, and the EDA is used in nearby nearly all the major industries such as automotive, aerospace, retail, finance, and CPG sectors. EDA is regard, regarded as the standard for the electronic data exchange or document from one company to another company, like as a trading partner. If we go around and what is a business partner okay what is a trading partner if you want to know about the trading partner this might be the question and an EDI business partner is simply another company that you exchange document with the most OEM like mm, will have a large network of business partner which are sometimes referred to as a trading partners or trading communities okay if we talk about like uh, an EDI question an EDI partner that I'm working with has has asked to use a specific EDA solutions. Do I need to use the exactly this method to sign document? The EDA solution are regardless as universal in the nature, and there is, are a multiple functioning standard existing which governs how companies should send EDA document to one to another. Okay, your ex exact choice of which EDA solution to use. Uh, should be aligned with those which should your business requirement the best okay and is another question is each EDI difficult to implement EDIs can be implemented most intermediate depending on the type of EDI solution chosen if it is a web based solution hosted by your computer or customer or sorry uh, client then all you will need to do is log in to their web portal and simply fill the, fill the necessary online forms before sending the required document. More complex system will require a software to install on your company network that will that allow integration with your back office system. An EDA system can be considered as an enveloping involving solutions as your business partner as your business grow and you begin trading with the more partners the complexity of your EDA system will grow as well okay and what is the difference between EDA provided by if when and EDA delivered over on the internet okay this is the most important question might be asked in your interview so what is when when is a value added network which is a private network where EDA traffic is exchange securely business partner with typically required an account with an EDI van such as GXS and this account simply act as an electronic mailbox uh, to both send and receive an electronic document in addition to sending EDI document to your business partner via van it is also possible to send EDI document between the van these are known as the interconnections interconnection are beneficial in so much as they will give you access to a much broader range of business partners distributed across the world okay whilst uh, whilst edi van has been around for nearly 30 years now the internet uh, does provide an uh, alternative methods for of, of of transferring edi documents even though the business benefit of the using both are similar that is the deciding factor of which to use will depend upon the partner agreement that has been prepared ideally both EDA business partner need to use the same method of transport either a van or direct exchange through the internet many of the largest companies will insist that all their suppliers should use the same method of sending document next question is what types of EDA solution are available for me okay if you want to know like 
what are the EDA solutions are choosing essentially there are three types of EDA solutions EDA software web based EDI and EDA service bureaus okay EDA software reside reside resides directly on a computer that your computer owns and offers the the highest level of flexibility and control EDA software allows also allows you to possibly integrate with the with a back to back office system thus improving business process efficiency EDA document are exchanged directly between your EDA software and your business partners EDA software this is point to point method of communication uh, allows for minimum delays and introduced error and a secure method of interacting with the business partner since the software of or EDI the EDI resides on the internet using it it requires some types of internet connection which uh, based EDI is an interactive process and requires manual entry of your EDI information this method this method provides little opportunity for integration and lessens mm, the control you have over the day to day operations since data with a web based edi system is interactive customization of the edi process is very limited edi services mm, bureaus mm, act as edi contractors performing your edi operations they will typically use some uh, forms of pay as you go method an edi service uh, bureau bureau mm, provides the least control over your day-to-day -day operations are the smallest opportunity for the data integration with your business system. Uh, like this might be asked to interview like uh, why would I choose an EDA software solution over the web based or service um, beauty, um, solution. The first consideration um, is to um, standard the impact of the, with that EDI will have on your business process since web based and service bureau solutions um, solutions will have a manual element embedded in the sys process there is a scope on, for introducing errors to the business process ed software allow you to exchange data directly with the back office uh, system thus eliminating manual errors in the process the time saved entering data and eliminating errors allow your company to spend more time improving order fulfillment more importantly improves customer satisfaction level the important things to remember that whatever the EDA solution is chosen it will impact your company operations moving forwards question is what do you I need specific experience to be able to do EDA in most cases In most cases, uh, you will not need to specific experience. It's directly related to the types of EDA solution you need to uh, you uh, solution you and uh, choosing for your business inter internet uh, based or EDA solutions. Okay, uh, hosted by a company that you merely access this through web browser this is therefore is the simplest method of interacting with an EDA system if you decide to implement EDA software then it would be advisable uh, to ask your chosen EDA vendor to undertake some simple simple training of for your employees I have heard of some outsourcing its services and it is possible to outsourcing an EDA yes as um, without any other guide from a form of IT technology, EDA can be outsourced, um, outsourced to a company with the in, with the necessary resources to manage to manage your ED, total EDA requirement. GXS managed services provide an EDA outsourcing capabilities, and this service will look after your complete EDA requirement from the in developing maps. To the link EDI together um, to rec recruiting partner to from the trading communities. DXS has successfully worked in the, with 135 companies around the world to undertake the management of their EDI infra infrastructure. GXS managed services um, will allow you take to uh, enable your entire supply chain 
our global basis is requirement to do so okay i don't have any resources to be able to recruit a business partner and explain my strategies to them is there a way achieving the efficiency yes jexus community allows um, a company to quick quickly require, recruit a business partner to the edi program jexus uh, will undertake the necessary marketing of your edi services to protect to potential business partner and will work with them to ensure they are able to create document with your company as quickly as seamlessly as possible i currently use a number of the automotive the suppliers based on the china it's it is it is is, this, is it possible to trade electronic electronically with that this company if so uh, how is it achieved yes it is possible uh, to trade electronically with the uh, automotive suppliers in the china jxs recently announced the partnership with china enterprises all land data exchange services limited and this partner has developed one of the only trading uh, hubs this dedicated to the china growing automotive industry the hub allows you to automatic companies to china trade um, document for their domestic and international company customers china e auto hub is directly connected with jxs trading and grid which allow a seamless connection to any business partner around the world okay i have heard about the various eda related industry associated with the data standard are these important yeah yes the industry associations are very important as they are uh, as they will allow you to implement industry based practices and get get a better understanding of what uh, other companies in terms of eda uses are doing in your particular industries they also work in closely to develop industry standard for document exchange these are important to understand if you want to implement eda correctly and hands off in a competitive advantage in the marketplace please take a look on the resources area to micro site to find our further information about the numerous industry association with them and eda document types i've heard the eda is a relative uh, or technology is this true yes uh, eda has been around over the 13 years uh, now it's regarded as a very mature it technology and eda is so entered with within many companies it is very difficult to replace with another technology overnight okay as of now as new technology such as the internet uh, has emerged eda has to be uh, embraced this new technology to remain an efficient business tool for the communicating document between the companies ADA will around for many years to come. Uh, what is the difference between the electronic data exchange provided by an ADA van and internet ADA? Van is a value added network, value added network often referred to the ADA uh, van is a private network directed to the secure exchange of data. Uh, electronic EDA data trading partner obtained an account with an EDA van such as GXS van, Sterling, EDS, Light, and Covis interconnection connect. This account serves as an electronic mailbox for sending and receiving electronic uh, document. The internet EDA is another way um, for communication. It's similar to OFTP. Okay, OFTP is of types of the EDA protocols as well for sending and transmitting the files to the clients. Your you are the partner can send your partner can send the data to the server via the internet or vice versa. So, what are the EDA? What is the like? What are the different? What are the different EDA standard and application standard format? Okay, there's a multiple application standard format are going on for the EDA standard. Like N six twelve is the most uh, major and important things multiple industry are using. Okay, and UCS Adifact is the best and VDA and Tradcom. The multiple um, format are going on for the EDA is application format standard like IDOCS, delimited files, CSV files, XML files. So multiple files are there.
okay how do i know what types of file i have received from the st segment is the transaction set at uh, the st purpose to indicate the to start a transaction set the st is the st1 is the transaction set identifier code the st1 uniquely identify 